Alright, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders that do rule by the great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akia Mode, pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Say shalom to you, humble and sincere sisters out there as well. This has been entitled, What Shall We Gain? You know what what is to be gained by by serving the heavenly Father? What it is? What what shall you gain by walking this walk by enduring affliction and not giving up, right? You know what I have in store for you. You know, don't think that <coughs> you're serving a, a a God that just going to only inflict pain, and you know you're not gonna re, re, receive any benefit from it the God that we serve you know is a merciful power and he's a, a power that will reward us in the latter end <coughs> right like everything in life you know you, you you receive a reward at the end right you're paying a certain amount of work right and you reap the benefits right you put in 50 effort 50 percent you get 50 percent a reward right if you put in 100 you get 100 you put in 50 you'll get 50 you put in 10 you'll get 10 you put in no effort you'll get nothing right and our power is a just he's a just power he's a fair god he's an understanding god right and hey you how about shimmy i wish i has a lot in store for the luck, right? And I want to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Right? So Peter basically saying earlier well, what? Yeah, well, we have um, forfeited our lives, you understand? We have given it all up. We have forsaken everything. Right? Just like us, say we have forsaken jobs, um, scholarships, right? Brothers who into sports, forsaken opportunities, right? We have forsaken all the things that we wanted to do and we've all, we've given it all up for for this we've forsaken family friends right every, every everything you know we have taken on the identity of being madmen of being crazy of being different of being foolish right of being hated of being scoffed and ridiculed and mocked and belittled and all these things, right? We've, we've taken on this character. So what shall we have therefore? Verse 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Right, I mean, you know, it explains itself. It say those that have followed Yahusha in the regeneration, when he shall set upon a throne, then the twelve, right, the disciples, they shall set upon twelve thrones, and it, it goes on to say everyone that had forsaken houses or and family and lands and all these things for Yahusha's sake, they shall receive what an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. <clears throat> so what shall we gain? We shall gain a throne. We shall sit and rule with Yahweh Shai 
we shall receive a hundredfold right of riches of wealth of glory of honor right we shall be men of valor and on top of that we shall inherit everlasting life right so besides <coughs> Salam. besides um, the salvation that the elect shall receive in the, lat in the latter end after that right in the regeneration in the new kingdom to come right they shall inherit eternal life and they shall live forever so what shall we gain immortality go to the book of hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10 It's if for Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he have showed toward his name, in that he have ministered to the saints and do minister. I read that again. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he have showed toward his name, in that he have ministered to the saints and do minister. <clears throat> so the Lord is not going to forget all the things that you have done to his, towards his name every single act that you have done in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is recorded you know and that would work to your benefit in the latter end I read verse 13 it says for when power made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater he swear by himself saying surely blessing i will bless thee and multiplying i will multiply thee and so after he had patiently endured he obtained the promise right so just as abraham he made that promise to abraham right and, and, and he fulfilled it partially but the true fulfillment of that promise is coming in the kingdom of heaven right that chosen scene right that kingdom of kings and priests right to a uh, 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 people um like the sun of the sea and like the stars of the heavens right? that will be fulfilled in the kingdom of heaven right so the same with the most i didn't forget abraham he is not going to forget this his, his servants his, his other servants right and he will reward them right he's going to reward them in the end right and if thou i'd say in verse 12 it said that she be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises so don't be slothful don't be lazy but follow with diligence right with diligence that i had a desire to have that zeal right and go after it because hey is a great is a great reward coming in the end right a magnificent reward is coming <coughs> book of wisdom of solomon chapter 5 and verse 1 it said then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall see within themselves this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor how is he numbered among the children of yahweh and his lot is among the saints therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness hath not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us right so this is what this is what's going to come as well 
the righteous will stand in great boldness. <coughs> it said they shall be amazed at the strangeness of their salvation. Right? So this is something the elect has to look forward to as well. And when all hell is breaking loose in this place. When this society collapse, collapses. Right? And these missiles. Right? You know, coming down into the end, right? When the MOTB is... is Announced and it is made mandatory, and you know, World War Three is in the making, and it occurs, right? When these nukes begin to blast off, these people are going to see the strangeness of the elect's salvation. They are going to be delivered from this nuclear destruction. They're going to be saved from that fiery destruction, right? And all the things that they said about us, right, it's, it's going to come back to bite them. So that is something that Zilek like has to look forward to. That sweet satisfaction of, 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 of looking at these people in the fear, in their fear, in their regret, in their, in their reproach. You understand? When, 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 um, all the things that we've been speaking when it comes to life right all the things that elect has been speaking when it when it is brought to life and it has become physical and it is seen and it is happening the sweet satisfaction of watching it right and seeing the fear and dread in the eyes of our enemies lord willing we are of the elect right all the things that they said they, they, it it shall go into it shall go back into their mouths. They shall be very sorrowful and remo and, and very remorseful on that day. Psalms 91 and verse 7 A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague Come nigh thy dwelling. So this is something as well. Right? Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of, of the wicked. You are going to be beamed up out of this place. And you are going to be looking down upon them as their destruction takes place. As their judgment is sent forth unto them. Right? Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see that. Right? For no evil for no plague shall touch thee because why you has made the lord you have made the mosai your refuge your habitation right a home is a safe place right a refuge a habitation is a safe space you have made you have put your safety into the hands of your house you have put your your survival you understand and everything that you that you are and everything that you want to be and everything that you desire you has you have put it into the into the hands of the Mosai. right and in exchange for that your survival your protection your safety is show sure. right but these other these nations and the wicked of our people they don't have that that comfort they wouldn't have that comfort they will not have that, that safety. You understand? <clears throat> right.
Psalms 37 verse 11 It said but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace Ready meek and we all know we all know that this anytime it, it's saying these things ultimately it is referring to the elect because the elect would be the ones that have a humble spirit the elect would be the ones that have a meek spirit a lowly spirit because Yahweh Shai said to be with the lowly right the elect would be the ones that had a broken and contrite heart and a sincere mind and all these things the elect would be the ones repenting and asking for forgiveness and mercy and being in that low state right so when it says the meek shall inherit the earth we, all under we understand who the meek is the meek is the elect the meek is the elect of Israel the chosen the chosen of the chosen right so the elect shall inherit the earth the entirety of the earth right and shall delight themselves in what the abundance of peace they're going to have an abundance of peace and overflowing of peace for eternity right a complete paradise a complete paradise right it will be as it was as it was intended to be John chapter 14 verse 1 it says let not your heart be troubled you believe in Yahweh believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself and where I am, there he may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Right? So Yahweh Shai said in his father's house, and the Lord's house is, 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 is the universe. His reality as we know it. And and beyond that, beyond, beyond that, do you understand? Beyond anything that you could imagine, that is the Lord's house. And in within that house there are many mansions, there are many planets. Right? And he say he goes to prepare a place for the elect. You understand? So this is what you shall inherit as well. Not just the earth, but these these other these other planets, the universe. Right? And being in that celestial body. Being in that celestial body. Yeah, you would be able to tap into the spiritual realm. And then go back into the physical realm because we wouldn't be able to die right so you could you could go back go into the spiritual realm and then come back into the physical you know this is the kind of power the unlimited power that we're going to receive you know you see and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again so, right, so Yahweh Shai went, went going, he prepared a place. Right, that's why you read Matthew 25, we're talking about what um, the bridegroom was tarrying. Right, and the, the, the virgins, so you know, they were waiting for that call, and the ones that had the oil, when the bridegroom came, you know, they, they, they organized their lamps and they went on the merry way to meet the bridegroom. You understand? So, Yahweh, he tarrying. You understand? Things are being set into motion.
Revelation 22 verse 14 it said blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city right so that they may enter into the kingdom of heaven so that they may be in the book of life so that they may inherit immortality that they may inherit um in in incorruptibility that they may inherit all things that they may inherit dominion that they may inherit rulership and glory and honor and an everlasting kingdom that they may dwell with Yahweh Shai forever that they may be on the top you understand blessed these this is who shall be blessed for doing the commandments right the elect this is this is the blessings that they would receive That they may have right to the tree of life, may enter into the gates, into the city. You understand? First John chapter three verse one. It says, "Behold, what man of love the Father had bestowed upon us." that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of power, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when we shall appear, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Right? Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it does not appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall be like Yahweh Shai. We shall be transformed. We shall be made perfect. You understand? We shall be made pure. We shall be made whole. First Corinthians 15 verse 52 It's in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible And we shall be changed For this corruptible, corruptible must put on incorruption And this mortal must put on immortality So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption And this mortal shall have put on immortality Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai of Mashiach. So, this is what you have to look forward to as well. Immortality. There is no death, there is no hell, there is no pain, there is no suffering, there is no evil. There is no persecution, there is no trials, there is no tribulation, there is only peace. You understand? There is only paradise. The only, understand, paradise is at the end of this walk. Peace is at the end of this walk, right? That is what is waiting for us. Right? That, that is what is waiting for the elect peace and paradise and a perfect kingdom you understand where they shall rule in where they shall be the head of right you all are going we are going to see the entirety of israel is going to see this earth prosper and flourish like never before the true beauty of this planet shall be revealed in, 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 in those days when perfection reigneth upon the earth when righteousness reigneth upon the earth when everything is in place everything is in order right you will see the, you will see the true beauty of this world right of this paradise right you know, with that two business we still like here, still like here. Last precept, Jeremiah 29 and 11. 
You say, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Right? This is what the Lord wants to give Israel an expected end. And that's what the elect going to receive. Right? So what it is you shall gain? What shall we gain? Everything. That's the only answer. That, that is the answer. You will gain everything by following Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right? You have given up everything and you shall be given everything. Way more than you could fathom. Corinthians 2 verse 9 it said but as it is written I hath not seen no ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh hath prepared for them that love him right you, can, you cannot possibly fathom what the Lord hath in store for the elect right those that love him the elect right so what shall you receive yeah, you shall receive the love of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in full effect. Right? That is what you should, that is what that is what you're going to receive. That is what you're gonna gain. You're gonna gain more than you could ever imagine. You understand? And with that will be the most edifying. Giving all praises, one and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bahashem Kakudash, Shalom.